happy Brazil. Well, Brazil's slowing economy is expected to receive a much-needed boost from the half a million international tourists visiting the country for the World Cup. While locals debate the benefits, there's no denying there'll be some winners from the event, including Australian businesses. Former Socceroo Peter Catholos knows a thing or two about football and business. It's not an easy industry because you're competing with the world. While his online orders are growing, purchases from his Belmore store in Sydney form 60% of total sales. Believe it or not, chilli is very popular. He admits the industry isn't as lucrative as it used to be, but he's expecting a late rush. The next month is going to be busy and buzzing. You know, and, and people that haven't got merchandise, you know, when they go to an event or they go to somebody's house to watch thing, they want to get dressed in their, you know, have a scarf, a cap, a shirt. You know, they want to be sort of, because if they don't, then they feel they're left out. The World Cup has already created business for travel agents. We've definitely seen an increase in inquiries. Brazil has proven itself to be a popular destination even before the World Cup, with the number of Australians visiting the country doubling to more than 20,000 over the last 10 years. It's got a fantastic culture. It's got the flamboyant beach culture of Copacabana, the um, annual events like Carnivale. Around 41,000 tickets to World Cup matches have been snapped up by Australians, the second largest foreign take-up of tickets behind the US and ahead of England and Colombia. While that means more Australians on planes, many have used the event as an excuse to bring forward their travel plans. Instead of travelling during the usual Christmas holiday period, they've chosen to visit family and relatives and friends around the World Cup instead. And it's not just retail which can benefit from the World Cup. Goldman Sachs says the winning country can expect its share market to outperform the global market by 3.5% before those gains tail off. Brazil will win either way. History shows the host nation share market will see a brief outperformance rising by 2.7%. Ultimately, it will be Brazil's $2.5 trillion economy hoping for a boost with low growth, high inflation, internationally uncompetitive labour costs and an overvalued currency hindering growth. They'll get big increases in GDP with the influx of tourism and so on. Uh, the question is whether they would have built those stadiums and that transport anyway and they might have pulled it forward like we did in the Sydney Olympics in 2000. Its success is critical in aiding an economy which buys more than $740 million worth of Australian goods and services. Ricardo Gonsalves, SBS World News.